Hi, good evening to all. Today we are going to discuss about two-factor authentication on EA bill and e invoice. Okay. So first, so this is the EA bill portal. We are entering the login credentials, and while login, there is a pop-up window. It says the important notes. It simply says we are going to implement the two-factor authentication mandatorily shortly and with the effect from 1-4-2025 it is mandatory. So for the turnover above 5 crore the invoice also two-factor authentication is mandatory. Okay. So here it says there are three different ways to receive OTP. A two-factor authentication is nothing but wherever you log in, you will get a OTP on a, on a mobile or a specified app. The first one is SMS received through OTP. The second one is Sandus app. There is an app called Sandus. You can download it in the Play Store. The another one is NIC GST Shield app. This one which can be only available for a e-invoice and uh, e, e invoice category people okay so you may download this app you cannot download it you may you may go to the e invoice portal then in the main menu there is a two factor authentication option is there once you select the two factor authentication a screen will be displayed then uh, that link will be the shield app link will be sent to your registered mobile number then you may download the shield app it is not mandatory it is one of the option to get OTP okay there are three options the one option is OTP sent to your mobile number as usual the second one is OTP received it through Santa's app you can download it the third one is shield app NIC GSE shield app so this is applicable only for a E invoice category people. Do you want to register two factor authentication? Yes, if you want to register, press yes. So, OTP sent to the registered mo mobile number for the registration. So, we are entering the OTP. Once you enter, press the submit button, then successfully registered for two factor authentication. So, we are rechecking by using login okay so again we are logged into the eWable portal using the username password so after you registered the two-factor authentication thereafter whenever you log in a OTP will be sent to a registered mobile number or Santa app because this is a eWable category Hence, OTP will be sent to SMS and Santa sub. If it is a e-invoice category, then OTP will be sent to three options. Okay. So once you got the OTP from the registered mobile number, you may enter it and submit for a login. That's all. This is very simple procedure. Need not to worry about it. But Every time you have to put a OTP for a login, that OTP should be sent to a registered mobile number. If there is a multiple number registered in GST, we may create a sub user in eWable system or e invoice portal, etc. Thank you. Thank you all.